Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. time we talked to Stephen Pearl, I'm doing my Howard Cosell. The last <laughs> time we talked to Stephen Pearl, he had a tooth pulled. <laughs> that sounded like the guy like, oh, no, here comes the president. Oh, what a lovely day for a motorcade. Good grief, a shot rang out. Oh, God zoots, the president's been hit. That was, uh, uh, what was his name? Um, um, Smith, I think. Pete Smith. Pete Smith Pete specialties. Smith. My, my, what it's a beautiful <laughs> Well, he talked like, uh, what a beautiful day for a parade. Here comes Kennedy now. Uh-oh, somebody shot him. Oh, look at the blood. My, my, this is not going to be a good day for Jackie. Jumping to the house of five. There's brain matter everywhere. Oh, no. Now, he used to do these things called Pete Smith specialties. Here comes Bozo now. He's going to try and put a nail in a piece of wood. I bet he hits his finger. Oh, oh, my, my, he did that. You know, I mean, he was. He's working. Guy worked for maybe. I don't know. He did those Pete Smith specialties for like 20 that? years. That, there's another thing we're missing, folks. I, I keep talking about things lately and that we, we don't have anymore. Okay. Uh, and one of the things we don't have. Oh, there's your cat. And which one is that? That's Muddy Waters. That's Muddy Waters. There he is. Oh, look at him. He uh, he looks like he's got he's kind of got the soul of a blues man. Oh, he is a blues man. He got a little soul patch right there. He's happy. <laughs> he goes have a thing gonna be around this morning. Anyway, I was talking about things that we don't have anymore, and I as I'm getting older, I start thinking about these things, and I go, you know, we don't have these anymore. Like for instance, uh, uh, how many people today get can get a dial tone? <laughs> Remember, you pick up the phone and go, eh, and then you dial it, and you wouldn't hear the yeah anymore. Oh, it's busy. Eh, eh, try again. Ask eh, how someone's on the line. Yeah, you don't get any of that anymore. Not it, oh. especially if you're using a cell phone. Forget it. You don't oh, get a dial. All, tone. That's all. Where those days are gone. Yeah. So I miss the dial tone. I miss the simple things in life. I miss the dial tone. You know, it's a real problem. So I have no idea. Yeah, I remember when it went, and then later on it went, ooh. Yep, yep. And yep, then, yep, then yep. I didn't have it anymore. Yeah. So anyway, um, uh, everything's fine in Las Vegas. Why? If, if, although Las Vegas. Yeah, I got a gig coming up in April when uh, things are happening. And I don't know what's going on before then, but uh, I'm just sitting on my on my tuchus. Things are, are you, 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 in, when have you got one? In April? You're, you're uh, April eighth through the eleventh, jokesters, jokesters, jokesters. And now, when, and, now jokesters uh, is it, it, just kind of sitting on my tail. To... I take it from the name, the jokesters is a comedy club, oh. huh? It's a comedy club, right? Uh, you guess it. It is. It is from like nine to like uh, I think nine to ten twenty. Yeah. Then they change it to something else. You know, a room is this. Then they have a show there. Oh, then they shut that down. Then there's another show there. Then there's another show there. It's starting to open up. Uh, but they call it Jokesters while it's the comedy club, yeah. right? So uh, so when... Yeah. Jokesters is right on Barnhart's room. Don't move the phone too much because you keep breaking up, okay? So hey. you, you, yep. you're you doing Jokesters. How many people can they fit in Jokesters? Doing Jokesters. Safely, safely. Uh, about 50 now. Really? The way and, they're doing it with and, the COVID and everything. And they're all, they're all yeah, six, they're there to laugh. They, they have good audiences there. They're all six feet apart? They, yeah. Yeah, and they're wearing masks? Playing by the rules, but they, they, they're wearing masks. Yes, we don't have to if we're on stage, but they wear masks if you watch the show. 
Uh, they agreed to it. They did it. Uh, I wouldn't be crazy about it, but they do it. Now, the comedian doesn't have to wear a mask because he's on stage and he's six feet from anybody, right? Yeah, that's we're like, we're like, we're like, we're like the, the front row is like a thousand feet away from the stage. It's like, you know, hello back there in the front row. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, and I like to do the disappearing grain of salt trick. Yeah. So, yeah. And, uh, but they, they're there to laugh. They want to get out of the house like the rest of us. And it's, it's been fun so far. And I'm doing and, some guest sets there. And I got a regular yeah. headlining gig in April. Now, the casinos aren't open, are they? What? The casinos aren't open. They, they are, but there's hardly anybody in them. Really? I mean, they only let so many people. Like in. They only let so many people in. Yeah, they, I guess. Yeah, yeah I, well, I'm going to the Laugh Factory tonight in the Tropicana, and that casino. There's not a lot of people in there gambling at the moment. Wow! So, wow, that's terrible. That's horrible. The club is going. Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's, it's, it's something I've never seen before. Move to We're a, just going to try to ride it out. Hopefully, we will ride it out because it's tough end. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going on a seven stage shin kicking spree. Oh, oh. <laughs> Do me a favor. Go uh, move your phone. like some old animation from like the 60s. Do me a favor. Move your phone somewhere else. Go just go into another area of your apartment here. Okay, let's try something else. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go to the oh, house. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, let me see here. Let's go. Yes. We're taking Jack a tour of this. Let's we, try this. Oh, that, there. That's, let's try that this. seems to be a good signal. Yeah, you can sit there. That's fine. Oh, there's another cat. There was easy. Right easy. Which cat is that? that? But you're, yeah, you're rumbling a I lot. I think this works. Don't touch the speak. Don't touch the I, uh, I microphone. The off. Yeah. Anyway, so so uh, yeah, that's fine now. That's good. Can you hear me too? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So You're moving weird. It's skipping like every other frame. Yeah, so what do you what, what do you do between now? Don't worry about what's happening on your end, just as long as it looks good on my end. Uh, it, it, what it, between now and okay. April, you have nothing to do. Nothing to do. Nothing to do. Yeah. Well, a friend of mine moved into the complex here, so I'll just turn the corner and go to his house and smoke a lot of weed. And I'll probably keep doing that till April. <laughs> well, well, has he been tested for COVID? What's that? Has Hello? he been has he been tested for COVID? Can you... uh, we, I don't know. Who cares anymore? <laughs> what do you mean? Who cares I've been, anymore? Been tested for the whooping cough. You could go over. You're sharing a joint, okay? <laughs> you pass it back yeah. and forth, right? Yeah, you pass it back and forth, like in like the real real stuff. Yeah, but. That's if he's got COVID, you're going to be a dead man. Do you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, well, I'm too. I'm strong like bull. I have tooth pull. Nothing bother me. <laughs> yeah, right. I yeah. throw both over heads. Nothing. I can do anything. Yeah, that's what that's what Rush Limbaugh said. Anyway, um, uh, no, but I mean, oh, I, that rest in piss, Rush. Rest in piss. <laughs> We got to get your computer. Rest in peace. We got to right? get ball of gas. He can't even hear me hardly. He, yeah, we got to get your computer working again. We really do. The phone is like, uh, yeah. you know, the phone. You seem very strange with the phone. You don't feel comfortable with it. Can you hear me okay? I'm ready. I'm holding it up with one arm. Yeah. It's not the first time I've held someone up with one arm. Uh, <laughs> It's uh, it's it's what it is. I wish I got my desktop let, working. Let me ask you a question now. You you when you moved to Vegas, you moved there with were you your wife or your girlfriend? What was she? My girlfriend. Your girlfriend. Okay. Well, she counts as a legal wife. We were together for ten years, so that counts as a common law wife, I guess. But I she came to Vegas so what and so what she wanted to be. She turned around and said, "I can't live here." Right. Still live here. You can't live here. Yeah. So she went back to California. She rents a room from a cat lady, mm-hmm. and I got the I got our cats, and I'm here with my cats. So, so there you go. So how's that relationship doing? Is it still going? We speak all the time, but I, I see it like once every year and a half. So you know, I don't know what's going on with that, but we speak all the time. So yeah, yeah so I'm not seeing anybody else. I'm too old for that shit. Yeah, you're not trying to date at all, right? Maybe Twenty year girls with seatbelts. Wait a minute. So okay. you're not you're not trying to date anymore, right? Not at the moment. Yeah. Not at the moment. I'm old. I come home. I go to a show. I home. I smoke. I play with my cats. I watch TV. I go to sleep. You know, rinse, repeat, lather. You know, do all that shit. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because when I was your age, and you're about what sixty five, something like that, 
Is that it? Yeah. You can go get your shot, you know. You're going to go get your little COVID shot? Maybe better. Where do I go? Where do I go? I'll get it. Yeah, well, I'm afraid. Go online. Oh, Maybe you don't have works, a computer. Man, made it now. Put some more gel in it. I, I was going to say, go, go online and sign up for a shot on, on, on the Internet. But unfortunately, you don't have a computer that works. So, anyway. Oh, I do. I go, I go on the phone. I go on uh, Google or anything I want to go to on this phone. So, I, I got a computer. It's the phone, unfortunately. Yeah. So, yeah. I can find out. Where they are, and then I got to have my friend to give me a lift because when my car's on the fritz, it won't go more than a mile and a half without smoking. So uh, I call my car Smokey the Cunt. The, so, the, uh, the only person that I talk to, that, so. the only person that I talk to doing this kind of thing, who technically has everything he needs, is Kravitz. Kravitz is just, you know, he's there, and we never have problems, you know, with the signal and whatever. Uh, but uh, until we we got to get you back online with the computer, that's what we got to do. Because you know, I know, I know, it was more fun to do it on the desktop. I could sit there. And, so, and not what do you think? Of, uh, do you are you following current events? Yeah, well, I watch. I get streaming TV, so I watch the news from Chicago and Boston and New York. So I know <laughs> what's going on in all these cities in San Francisco and L.A. I yeah. saw a cool motorcycle chase last night in L.A. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I know what's going on, but I don't really care anymore. <laughs> We're out of Vietnam, so all that weed is legal. That's all I cared about. Yeah. <laughs> is weed's legal in Nevada now, isn't it? I feel like my hands are like I Stephen Miller, though. I want to beat him up. Yeah, but, I mean, pot is legal in, in Nevada, right? Yep. Yep. Sounds like he's getting me by delay, I think. He's good for you. It's like somebody in on TV doing their shot from Europe, and there's a delay, and they wait to talk to you. Can you hear me? Matt. You're you're hearing me okay, right? <laughs> I can you find you're moving. It's like every other frame is cut out. So wow, like, I see. Like that. You know, we're, the, we're working at a deficit. I can, I can hear today. you fine. We're working at a deficit today, but we only have three more minutes of this. So let me do an impression. No, um, let me see here. What else can we do? Okay, so, but, you know, sometimes your phone works just fine. Well, it would be like Frank Fontaine's an astronaut. Like, yeah, yeah. What, what, what? Yeah. But Zoom work, Zoom uh, usually works okay, you know, for the most part. So. It's fucked up now. Yeah, it, it's, it certainly is. But anyway, um, uh, so you don't Please. date. So really, you just smoke pot a lot, right? Delay, delay, delay. Yeah. Yeah. Casey can go crazy. Yeah. I smoke pot, I drink coffee, I listen to music, I watch TV, I play with the cats. I lead a full life, but I get teeth full once in a while. Yeah, but you know, if you didn't if they didn't have so COVID, a, you'd be out there doing stuff, right? You know. You of course, be, I'd be out there doing stuff, I'd be working, I could have my car fixed, I could do this, I could do that, I'd be out there. Yeah. But I'm not out there, nobody's out there. So well, hold it's, on. It's like uh, I have with my friend Warren or yeah, long about April or May, maybe June, this thing is going to be kind of at at bay. We won't have to worry about it as much. And uh, your life may get back to some point of semi I hope it goes away for good. Huh? Yeah. It's well, the same. People can't live like this. People but you can't should, live like this. They want to go out. They want to be with other people. They want to see shows. They want to do this and that. So. Yeah. Well, you should get your shot. I've had my first Hello. shot. I, I've had my first shot. But you should get a shot. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, thank I'll you. get a shot. Make oh, sure you get a shot. Look at get this. Shot. You want me to get the shot? I'll get the shot. Spam risk. There we go. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Spam. Fuck you. What's going on? There we go. There goes my spam. Risk. <laughs> I don't even answer those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, all the time. Yeah. So anyway. Um, Oh, what's this? I, here's a headline for you. Senator Ted Cruz left for Cancun with his family as Texas was hit by a storm, sparking a fierce outcry. He was said to be planning to return on Thursday. Two, yeah. On Canada, he went to Texas. You're going to be up to your ass Cancun. in snow here in Texas. It's snowing in Texas. Is it, It's not snowing in Las I know, Vegas. People's goldfish are freezing. Yeah, yeah, but it's not in Las Vegas. It's not. So much for global warming. 
Yeah, Las Vegas isn't having <laughs> any problems. What? Well, we just lost the audio on them. Wait a minute. We just lost audio on you. Oh, well. Steve, you're here. Let me just, uh, it's, uh, it, it, you, you um, asked to unmute. Okay. He, he's all muted. Uh, uh, anyway. Uh, there, he, there you Hello. are. Now you're okay. Hello. You muted yourself. Hello. Oh boy, this is Hello. this is really this is a clusterfuck today. Anyway, a, hey, listen, we've, run, we've the good news. We've run out of time for this technical, and too bad we didn't have a sign wow. that says "Please stand by." We're having technical difficulties, but I'm going to make up a sign like that. Yeah, Just the hell by. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, say goodbye, Stephen Pearl. Bye, everybody. I got to go to my friend's house and smoke more weed. <laughs> now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. <sighs> Thank you, Stephen. We appreciate that. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, we're, I'm glad we're on. We almost weren't on tonight. I got to tell you, what happens here, it just, it just drives me nuts. Is, is technical problems that suddenly suddenly hit you, you know, like crazy. And uh, you go, why, why is that happening, you know? It just happens. Uh, before I was, I was supposed to, uh, you know, I was, it was like, what, we do the show 10.30 Eastern time. It was about 9.30, I think. And I'm playing with the equipment and getting it all tweaked up and ready to go, you know, and ready to do its thing. And uh, uh, working my uh, my butt off to get it to you know to really work, and um, I'm testing stuff and everything. All of a sudden, all my hard drives disappear from my screen, and other things are going weird. And so you know, when in doubt, reboot. Right? So I reboot it. Uh, if you ever have a problem with anything, whether it's your iPhone or your iPad or whatever, just reboot. It's a simple, simple thing. So I reboot, and when I reboot, the Apple doesn't come up. The Apple's just won't, won't appear. And the Apple has to you get the tone, and then the Apple has to appear, and it doesn't. So now I can't figure out what. And I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, you know, you go through, you have this, they have this bank of memories of things that have happened to you, and you got to figure them out. And uh, I did figure it out. Uh, I unplugged all my USB stuff that was going into the machine, uh, and I rebooted it, and the Apple comes on, and, the, and I put all the USBs back in, and I'm up and running again. But, you know, this took me at least a half hour to figure out what the hell the problem was, okay? That's for starters, all right? And, and, and I, I just, I get so tired of this stuff, you know? I mean, it's just like the machine said, uh, I, I, I feel I'm just going to fuck, fuck with you. It never fucks with me at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, okay? Everything's perfect at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, terrific. Ten minutes before it's supposed to go on the air, something will go wrong, you know. And I go, how much, how much longer do I have to deal with this sort of thing, you know? So I, if I'm a little riled tonight and a little hassled, it's because I had to go through that experience tonight. And I'm sorry if I, uh, if I bored you with it. Uh, but I just, you know, it's one thing after another. And uh, and I do do something here. You know, I do try to do something that's a little bit complicated. You know, I could just uh, uh, go on Zoom and tell it to go and put me up on YouTube, and it just put me up on YouTube, and you wouldn't get any of the, you know, the graphics like, uh, like uh, you know, this stuff. You know, you won't get this stuff. You wouldn't get uh, that stuff. Uh, you know, you wouldn't get any of those things. And... Um, I, I do it so that I have a, a kind of a real show. And uh, so I, I do everything in, in a way that is causing me a lot of grief in the end because when this machine suddenly doesn't work. But I figured out what, what, you know, what was wrong or how to re rectify it. I was just praying that when I plugged in all those, 
USB ports again, everything will be working, and everything seems to be working fine. Now, I'm not going to say anything because I could push one button and all of a sudden uh, we're off to the races, you know, and I, I really don't want to do that. But anyway, uh, let me see here. I got to see participants. How many are waiting to come on? Oh, quite a few. We better we better get. We, I guess we should get to them. Okay. So let me start admitting all, and uh, you won't see anything going on. Well, you can see them coming in here. Here they are. See, there they go. We got Alan. We got Charlie Wallace. Uh, we got uh, Phil. Phil Meyer. Dan Meyer. Uh, I'm, Meyer, sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, Dan. <laughs> Uh, and we got Alan. Oh, Alan, you you got it. You you had to do something with you. You had no. To... I actually didn't do it. My nephew came by today. He's 15. His laptop died, mm -hmm. and he said, "I need to talk to my girlfriend who's in Southern California. Can I use your?" Uh, sure, no problem. Mm -hmm. And he set this thing up, and I said, "Take that down. I got a show tonight." Yeah, no problem. And so just now I turn it on, I realize, guess what? I have the Golden Gate Bridge behind me still, and I don't yeah. know how to change it. <laughs> well, so we can rather leave it, it, and I can kick his ass tomorrow. Well, you, you can keep it the way it is, okay? Uh, but uh, what you do, yeah. after, after the show, up in the corner of your, um, of your uh, thing here, your, what do you call it? The, uh, yeah, there's a little green shield. Go to the green shield, and then it goes to the, uh, it, then hit the uh -huh. button over on the right hand side, and go to the uh, uh, the preferences. And in the preferences, you just go to where it says, uh, I don't know, what does it say, backgrounds or something like that, and you just go there and just put in, click on none, okay? Well, if I go to the green shield, which is in the top left hand corner, yeah, <clears throat> it talks about. The meeting number, the host, the link. No, but the, it, it's green. And then you go over to the right. You did, click on the green button. I did. Oh, okay. look at that. Yeah. It, it brought up another screen. Now, mm, now you've got the, a background. Why can't I have a background? You can have a background. I mean, if you want to do it. But the only I'll thing leave, is, the, ba the background, unless you've got a green screen, the background that, uh, that uh, they do is kind of shitty. Because put your hand up and you'll, you'll see. See? See what happens? Move your hand back and forth. Look oh, at that. yeah. Okay, See. goodbye. No, no, that's but, gone. Yeah, but that you know that's why I never used it. I Now I have a green screen. <clears throat> um, what you, what's the background you're using now? Oh, I'm just, a... I'm just at my window. <laughs> it's right next to his window. Nobody's laughing because everybody knows. I mean, it's come on. It, it's not a, can't be a still <clears throat> picture, okay? Because look at those lights billing. Does this do <clears throat> the same thing? No. Oh, that's nice with the blurry. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll leave it on blur. You like that? I, it doesn't bother me no, yet. Okay. <laughs> I just found it. Yeah. But now I know how to. Now I know how to, there's on Zoom. There's only like three or four. Yeah. And if yeah. if I was going to have something good, it would be pictures of my next door neighbor's, you know, eighteen year old daughter in the nude. Yeah. Do I, look I, I lied. She's yeah. 19. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. But anyhow, say that could be <laughs> criminal or something there. I don't know. Not, not in California. 18 is legal age. But in any yeah. case. <laughs> You've oh, done sure. your research. Now, <laughs> uh, now my nephew sends me a text right now. I didn't text him, but he, he was reading my mind. Sorry, Uncle Al. I forgot to change the, the wallpaper back <laughs> Mm. Duh, you know, <laughs> wasn't that nice of him? Okay, this doesn't actually bother me as long as the you know the other stuff is there. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a little change I got to make here on me. I'm I'm too pink. I think. I don't know. Do You're I, very red. I'm do I'm red. red. I'm, I wonder why I'm red. I would red. call it red, not mm. pink. Huh? <laughs> I guess it's pink. We can it debate that. Hmm. Well, maybe you got some sunburn. Yeah. No. I. You know. Yeah. Right. Because he's been in the sun so much. <laughs> yeah, <too. right. laughs> well, I'll fix that tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, sure. I don't have to fix it today. Just do what you said you were doing earlier. Just pull out one of the USB cables and see if that works. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could, you know, I could turn things down a little bit here. Could turn the lights down a little bit. You know, the, in that thing nice. that you just had settings on that had some lighting things in there. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know. Am I less pink now? Yeah, you're less pink. You look yeah. good. You okay. look fine. You look fine. Okay. You look fine. I guess. I don't know. I give There's up. There's somebody about ready to jump off the building behind you, but other than that, don't worry about oh. it's your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Where? Here? One of your neighbors. Yeah. Over there. No. Right there. Okay. Yeah, I, I like remember. I like that background you got, Alex. There, that's a lot better than the the Christmas one you had on last night. Mm. Oh, people are seeing when people are trying to come in on the screen. By the way, because I I'm using a different kind of screen here now. In fact, let me go to the other one again. Uh, it'll make life better for me. If, you know, if it, if I stay in sync, the problem is staying in sync, where I have mm. a another thing here where I stay in sync. Okay, let me admit these people. Uh, you know, I'll, I, tomorrow I'm going to just tweak everything again and get it all the way it should be. But I think it looks okay. Oh, I see. Yes, John Larkin is now doing his impression of Jeff. <laughs> That's right. He's got the TV on in the background or something. No, that was the show. That was the show. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Smoke okay. another joint, Dan. I'm, I know. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Everybody looks pink. Yeah. Me too. Uh, even, even. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little less pink, you know. Um, but anyway, um, let me see here. So we've got that going. Okay. Let me see here. Everything seems to be a little, little better now. Um, I don't, I don't want to be too, uh, let me see if my regular camera, do I look pink? I look pink there too. Yeah. I don't look any more pink than I normally look. Um, but I, I would, you know what, you know what happened is because of the green screen and because I decided that the, when I had too wide a shot, you know, it was just kind of not personal enough. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. I might've got a call. You got a call? Uh, oh, well. well, answer it for Christ's sake. As long as we went through this trouble, go yeah. go answer it. Anyway. Put on speaker. Huh? <laughs> Put uh, on speakerphone. Put on speakerphone, right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so uh where was I? Hmm. So anyway, I've just I had nothing but problems today getting the show on. I mean, everything just, you know. For years, it was hard enough getting women to go down on me, but I have a computer that does it all the time. So, you know, it's a, it's a pain in the ass. Um, Not supposed to be. Well, you know what I hate? You know, I, I, um, I hate the fact that I, my art, you know, if you're a painter, the only technology you have between you and the canvas is a paintbrush. And you do your painting. Okay, now what can go wrong? I mean, maybe you can spill your paints or something like that, but what can go wrong? Here, there are miles and miles of cables and technology and whatever just for me to be able to do what I do. And if it, I wish it were as simple as, you know, being a painter and having a brush and putting it on a canvas. And but, many different points where things can go wrong. Oh, and, it, 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 dozens and dozens. I mean, what went wrong tonight is not what went wrong the day before or the day before that, you know. And if all of a sudden, uh, I mean, I, last night I'm watching television and there's no internet. And all of a sudden it went out for like, I don't know, five seconds, something like that. And then I come in here and I have to reboot all everything that's associated with the internet. But what I'm saying is I, I just don't like the idea that I have to, you know, uh, uh, I fuck it. I, 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 I'm, I, I, I'm, I, Where, enough, enough, where's Robert to take notes? Enough of my complaining. Yeah, Robert would enjoy this. Um, yes. Because the first 10 minutes of the show starts out with you rather complaining about your problems or your computer's problems. Yeah. Yeah. But... You know, I mean, and I, uh, you know, I really, I like, I like doing the technology. I mean, I like it, but I want, I want it to work. I don't want it to suddenly break on me, and then I have to, you know, to begin with. The worst part is when it happens an hour before the show is going to go on the oh, air, sure. and that's, it, that's cool. always when it happens. Either mm -hmm. that, or it happens, believe it or not, at one o'clock in the morning, 
and then I got to spend the next two hours trying to fix it. And if I can't fix it, I can't go to sleep until I've got it fixed because it'll keep going in my head. Like if I do this, will it do that? Will it do this? Will it do that? And it, you know, it's it's a, it's a pain in the ass. Just fortunately, ass. you probably don't have a car, right? What? No, no. Car? You do have a car? No, I you don't. don't. I don't have a car. No. Oh, you're you're lucky because a car. Usually when you got a hot date or a, you got to be somewhere that's very, very important, mm. like to go get your COVID shot, you go out and the battery's dead or you have a flat, flat fucking tire. Well, I mean, I've had a car mm. and I and I know what you're talking about, oh, uh, but I um, I just, I had AAA. <laughs> that was it. I just called them and they, they came don't over. Always, I have AAA. They don't always get there in time. Really? They used to get there in the old days. They used to get there in seconds, you know. Uh, That's because their computers were working. Who knows? Yeah, know. yeah. Uh, but, but you know something? I got to tell you, our whole lives are being fucked by the technology. Now, I, and, and, and by the way, folks, this isn't some old guy, old fart saying, oh, the technology, I can't. St-. I'm a guy who helped invent part of this technology, you know, and who tested out this technology and who was a big technology nerd. And... You know, I begin to think that maybe I created a sin. And then transistors came out. Yes, and then transistors <laughs> came out. Mm-hmm. No, but I mean, I, you know, I was doing all of this, I mean, early on before anybody else did it. I mean, the first podcast ever was mine. You know, I mean, that's that's how much I was into technology. So I'm not a, a Luddite. But I'm slowly becoming one because I see the evils of the technology. You know, in a lot of ways, the Unabomber was right. If you ever yeah. read it, if you ever read his manifesto, he was saying exactly what I'm saying right now. That, you know, the technology may turn into a horrible thing for all of us. And I think that it's, uh, you know... It, if technology were so great, you know, why do I have to stand in line for two hours to get a COVID shot? They should have it all figured out. Why should I be getting a notification yesterday that it's uh, that I didn't get my COVID shot when I should have because they wouldn't schedule me for when I should have gotten my COVID shot? And because one database doesn't talk to another database, I'm sitting there wondering what the fuck they're sending me. We're lucky. Hmm? All of it. We're all lucky. Yeah. That two weeks passed and you're somewhat protected from COVID. I have not seen you hold up a thermometer in a while. Yeah. You haven't seen it because I don't do it on the air. Right. Oh, okay. Uh oh. <laughs> you know, we I mean, all have our little Piccadilly things that we do, right? Pe- Peccadillos, not Piccadillos. Piccadillos. <laughs> no, there you go. Piccadilly, Piccadilly is, a, is, a, is, is, is a roundabout in England, in London. Called. I don't know. Anyway, Piccadilly Circus. Uh, no, yeah, exactly. So I mean, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, I, 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 I don't want to be. A, I don't like being a luddite, but I've become one. You know, and there's every reason that I should be one because, you know, how many times you call up someplace and they can't do anything. The, oh, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble with the computer right now. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't. I can't bring your name. Can you call back later? Oh, I hate that. When when I get the computer working again, and I'm thinking, why don't I just drive over you, to your you, office you, and we have you a know, heart-to-heart there talk? Was, there was a time when I called you and you had a pen and a piece of paper, and you wrote down on it. And if let you me, let if me you, look up your file, wanted to look up my file, you went to a file cabinet and got it out and looked at it, and it was <laughs> right in front of you. Now I can't get to your file because it's in the computer. In the computer, our computers are down. How many times have you heard that one? Or, or, or our computers are really slow. Yeah. And if, if you okay. don't, you know, and you're, if you you're, don't, you're, you're a multi-billion-dollar business. Buy faster computers yeah. is what I usually say. And if you don't think that the uh, uh, that this whole thing hasn't brought a, a, a negative thing to our lives, I mean, it's horrible. It, it's just it. We things are not better than they used to be because of the technology. They're just more confusing more problems, and on top of that, let's talk about, and this is a, a, an interesting topic, uh, the amount of uh, invasiveness into our lives that this brings now. 
You know, I was hearing about how many, any of you do a DNA test with like Ancestry.com? So I'm, I have no idea, but I have. Yeah, I, I, did you do it, Dan? I didn't do it, but I uh, I bought it as a gift for a uh, mm-hmm. family member. Anybody else? Anybody else do um, it here? Uh, I think if Dan done it, he would have found out that he was related to Gazinski, the Unabomber. Yeah, no, I, I got I got uh, Marjorie. I wouldn't. Marjorie said, "I'm giving I'm you a, I'm giving you a gift. I I sent away to Ancestry dot com for both of us." I went, "Okay, fine, that's cool." So we get the thing, and then I spit in it. And I sent my spit back to the Mormons, because they're, they're who run the whole operation. Yeah. Uh, instead of spitting on them, I spit at them into the tube that they send me. Anyway, they, uh, they, then, send, uh, they, they then sent me something. Your spit wasn't good enough. Could you do it again? So I had to do it again. And then finally, we get our, our ancestry thing back. And guess what? We're Jewish. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I the did... second time you should have jerked off into it. <laughs> who, who, who would have known, okay? <laughs> We're Jewish. Yeah. Imagine with your last name, too. I mean, that took that took a, a, a genius. They probably had to so send I'm thinking, to I'm FBI. Thinking, I'm saying to Marjorie, how much did this cost for you to find out we're Jewish? <laughs> yeah, it was like $100. Se- it was like 75 yeah. 80 bucks at that yeah, time. Yeah, right. And now it turns out, you know what Ancestry.com does? They sell, they sell your DNA information to, yep. the, so, to the Chinese. Yeah. Because yeah, the Chinese yeah, are doing a DNA it. database of everybody on the face of the earth. Yeah, and the FBI gets a copy. Yeah. What? Then they try to convert you to a Mormon. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> well, the FBI gets dead, a copy. After you're dead, they, they convert you to a Mormon. Well, you know something? They, uh, actually, Jew, Jews are... Uh, uh, the Mormons are very pro-Jew. Okay? Because they believe the Jews are the chosen people. Absolutely. So At least they're smart. Well, yeah. They believe the Jews are in, were in... Um, in Utah, anyway, didn't they? Uh, 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 I, I don't know what that what? was, but uh, they, no, they just uh, they. But then, when I was a kid, I at one point I wanted to join the Boy Scouts because I thought I'd, I had a really good chance of getting molested, and I looked forward to that. Yeah. And um, and they didn't. And I so I I went down to the local troop in San Anselmo, California, and I applied. And it turned out they didn't want me. Why? I know. It was a Mormon-run oh, Cub Scout wow. troop. And they didn't want a Jew. Oh, wow. They now and, I, and years later, I heard that they thought the Jews were the chosen people. And I, as a chosen person, wasn't chosen. You know? <laughs> I mean... Um, Maybe the scout. And by the way, by the way, that, I got right. I got to tell mm-hmm. all you Mormons who might be listening out there. That was a very traumatic thing for me, wow. to be just yeah. turned down because I was Jewish. You know, this was in the what 1920s. Yeah, no, it's shut up. <laughs> this was in the 1950s, which oh. is kind of close. Uh, let me see. I'm letting Brian Neary in. He may have been down there for a while, and I didn't see him. Uh, there we go. Okay. Hello, Brian. So anyway, so I, you know, um, uh, I, uh, it's, it's always had, it, it, it kind of had a profound effect on me. It bothered me because I wanted to be a Boy Scout. I wanted to join the troop, you know, learn how to rub two sticks together, get merit badges, you know? So, anyway. Get laid. Hmm? Get laid. Get laid. Yeah. <laughs> so all I ever belonged to was like Hopalong Cassidy's Six Shooters Club. You know, something like mm-hmm. that. That was my that was my life. So I, I kind of learned what it was like to be Jewish in a way. You know, there was it was always a certain amount of anti-Semitism out there, and nope. everybody everybody came up with the thing was terrible about it is everybody thought we were good with money. Do I look like I'm good with money? Mm. Yeah. yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, you, yeah. You, uh, you built up your uh, whole uh, empire. Yeah, so. I built up this whole massive financial yeah. juggernaut. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. 
So I, how so many I, other rejects from the Boy Scouts can say that? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's right. I, I was going to say, I watched that uh, Woody Allen thing mm -hmm. that, oh that you were talking about. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I mean, and I don't really know the whole story, so I'm not going to, I don't know what's exactly true, what's exactly not. But the thing is, one thing that comes across is that I think Mia Farrow, you know, she's not coming across as too bright in this thing. So she's kind of laying it out. Well, it's there. not that she's not uh, bright. I uh, I don't think Woody Allen, who's a very bright man, would hang out with somebody who's particularly stupid. All right. Yeah. So I I, I I would probably defend that she's probably brighter than we think she is. Well, right. well, yeah. I mean, just like not very. Um, I, I she's probably intelligent, but just like not very good at picking a boyfriend well <laughs> i saw this interview uh with woody allen that 60 minutes did you can find it on youtube okay and he it, this was done in 1992 that's how old this story is there's nothing in yeah. the documentary that's new information right yeah, okay no, it's just that's... re treaded information hey, except the daughter is a little older now yeah right. but she's, she's still so, she and i wish i could say she was telling the same story but she isn't she keeps changing it you know, but the, and, you know, the whole thing's it's a boring film. They could tell the whole story in 15 minutes. You know, it's like she says this. He says that blah, blah, blah. Well, okay. it, to begin with, because because I'm sure Woody Allen had to make a four did, part didn't, documentary. Woody Allen probably wouldn't talk for this interview for this no, thing. No. And he's smart to do so there. He's being held out to dry. In other words, they could have gone out and gotten the 60 Minutes interview and run things from that, but they didn't. They yeah. simply had some guy sound like Woody Allen reading excerpts from the book. Okay? They wanted to use his audio book version of it, but they wouldn't let them. Because uh, that, oh, I thought that's what it was. Oh, no, like it turns out, turns out that, was a, it, yeah. uh, that was a guy doing an impression of Woody Allen reading oh, from man, the book. That because it had it on the bottom. That's why right. I thought, too. Well, maybe it was Woody Allen, but I heard that it was, wasn't was Woody Allen. That it it was... sounds like Woody Allen to me, and if it was an impression of Woody Allen, then that would just be totally... Well, anyway, would be yeah. anyway I down. went and I suddenly saw another documentary. Oh, Some God. guy turned out. It's two and a half hours long, and, you know, it's very, very long, and uh, what could we call it... Uh, it, it's just very uh, esoteric. Oh. It, 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 but he does talk about the fact that there are just a lot of misconceptions. Like they say in the documentary, they say, well, Woody Allen at that time went to see a psychiatrist about uh, you know, whether he was a molester and blah, 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 blah. No, that's not why he went to the shrink. He went to the shrink because this whole thing was driving him nuts. <laughs> he didn't he go because of that. Longer. He didn't go because of that. And that's one oh, he, big lie. He, there, are, there are a lot of lies in the documentary, and these are lies <laughs> that the Pharaoh people have been perpetrating for years. And the lie keeps changing. Like, oh, for instance, I just read something possible. tonight. I read something tonight. You know, supposedly the thing that, he's, that, that uh, Dylan claims, it's her only claim, is that he took her into a crawl space in the house, okay, and made her get down on her stomach and play with Ronan's trains. Okay, and uh, then he th there and then he then touched her labia and her vulva. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. To begin with, somebody who knows that house says that crawl space could not have a train set in it. It's so small. <laughs> and in fact, Woody probably wouldn't go in there because he has claustrophobia. Yeah. And in the interview, he says, do you really think with all that's been going on that I would go up there to see my daughter and molest her <laughs> when all of this is going on already? No. Sure. You know, uh, I mean, I believe Woody. And, I, and I, I, what bothers me is this is the kind of accusation that's very hard to disprove because people all of a sudden go, he's a molester? Well, to be, you know, they, a lot of them say, he fucked his daughter? No. <laughs> That's not even what the accusation is. It's that he touched mm. her. You know? I mean, it's just... Well... 
It, and it, I shame on HBO because I, I really think that they should have said, eh, we're going to take a pass on this. Because unless you can get Woody Allen to be interviewed for it, we're taking a pass on it. And, and the Ronan part. Uh, Ronan. Because <clears throat> he, looked, he looks dead on to Woody, right? <laughs> yeah, he looks just like Woody, doesn't he? Just like Woody. <laughs> I think Bill, Bill Maher is the only person that keeps asking him every time he's on Bill Maher. He said he talks about Frank, you know, ask him one, ask him a well, question. Well, Mia supposedly is. has said there is a possibility he's Frank's son. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Frank's daughter, Tina, says, no, he couldn't be because my father had himself, had his tubes tied. But, but. I know people have had their tubes tied, and then somebody got yeah. pregnant by them. Yeah, so man, you know, a couple of the sperm got through. And, the... Yeah, just the, when you look at him, every time I see him on something, all I see is Frank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? You think he looks Who? like Frank Sinatra? Oh hell oh, yeah! yeah. Okay, come on. Yeah, look yeah. at his eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't see it. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. definitely not. He's definitely not related. He's not Woody. To he's not Woody. Yeah. 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 Is now, there a he, movie? That, that he was actually in where he was funny. What? Who? Woody Allen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, oh, come I, on. I, any movies I've ever oh, seen but, him, I didn't think was funny. Oh, I, I think he's... I, 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 oh, he had a run in the 70s and 80s, man. And then Great. forget about the comedies. He, See, I get the, him confused with Pee Wee Herman in the theater masturbating. <laughs> Jeez, okay. I don't, you talk me about smoking now, and I don't know what you've been smoking. What yeah, thinking that man. the whole Pee Wee, Pee -wee Herman thing. Herman. I mean, who hasn't tr who hasn't jerked off in a porn theater? Anyway, yeah. really. <laughs> I mean, what else are you supposed to? He, 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 that's what I was going to say. What are porn <laughs> theaters for if you can't jerk off in them? What's the right. sticky floor I, for? I, we used to go in there with a black light to make sure we weren't sitting in somebody else's seat. <laughs> Uh, then where did you sit? Uh, There's nowhere yeah, to sit. Then where did you sit? Exactly. Where are you going to go? Stand? Yeah. Stand in the back? Like uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey's being very quiet tonight, and I just saw him give, him, give us a judgmental. Well, he's got his microphone off. That's one reason. Been off for 10 minutes. Oh, let me ask you something, Jeff. Yes. You had your second shot, right? I sure did. Yeah. Did you have any side effects? I I had a band aid that I had to pull out. Oh God, hurt. that must be really. Oh painful. man, that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying, did you get sick at all or feel sick? No. Nah. Because they what they say is is that they, they, some people do get kind of yeah. really ill that night and then the next day they're fine all of a sudden. Yeah. Did you? My, my sister yeah. had that same uh, result. Uh, very bad. She was. It's kind of sick. She spent she spent the whole next day in bed. Yeah, well, you know something. Uh, yeah. Listen, I could get like vi vi you know a, a viral anal sores from it, and I would still take it. You know because I know I'm not going to get the the COVID. You can tell you have to pull the bandaid off your ass. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that where this they inject it? I think so. Uh, yeah, uh, Charlie, you have your hand up. Yeah, I uh, had my second shot yesterday. I was fine yesterday, but mm. today I have no energy. I'm just completely uh. useless. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, it, 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 they say that's good, actually. That that means it worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it also works if you don't have side effects. So. So. I'll find out tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah, everybody's getting their second before me. In fact, I, I know. I'm so I'm sorry, Alex. We'll, we'll let's hold off getting our shot until Alex gets his. So I, 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 she, she, Shecky that. hasn't written me. I thought he would write me and say, "Hey, I got mine today," because he had his. His was yeah. He posted on Facebook. Did he? What did he say? He said he got his shot. He forgot to take pictures or something. <laughs> oh, see. And then then the next post said, "Don't get your second shot at tell." Oh yeah, okay. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, Daniel. Oh, I was gonna go back to the Woody Allen thing. Uh so your your position is that Mia Farrow just made this whole thing up. I or? think Mia Farrow is a crazy bitch. Okay. I really is see, I really don't know. Is she known to be a whack job or watch the interview with Woody Allen. He has stuff she sent him. 
Okay. Only only demented people would send the kind of stuff she sent him. Okay. Okay, okay so she's a little bit loony. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, loony, loony. Okay. You know, I mean, he just he picked a bad woman to fall in love with. Wasn't she a Charles Manson follower at one time? No, no, no. Oh. But she did. She did follow the Maharishi Mahish Yogi. She okay, went. She went with the. She went with the Beatles. Uh, uh, she, Yogi, that's no problem. She went with the Beatles to see the Maharishi Mahish Yogi. Remember when they left and because their Brian, what's his name, died, and um, it was t terrible. And uh, she went with them to. And the story about her was is that the Maharishi kept running around trying to rip off her sari, you know. Uh, which, you know, it, go, it really gives credence to that old adage that, you know, love is never having to save your sorry. So, um, oh, boy. Uh, you, have to know, you have to know, you have to know where that, you have to wait for seven what, years. What did you say, Jeff? I said, you've been waiting 27 years to say Well, that. I've, yeah. I've used that joke many times before as well. I, in fact, I don't know that I created it, you know. Boy, it's a lovely night out there, isn't it? Isn't it looks it? beautiful it's a night in New York. Mm. It is. Um, yeah. Yeah. Look, there's Batman. No. Um, <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah. But so you're just, I mean... She just made it all up and just out of nothing decided she's going to say this? Uh, she, was, uh, she went crazy when he, he left her for the daughter. Yeah. 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 And, I, and you know, I'm, I'm not saying either way, but I now watched that 60 Minutes interview, like like you said, so I'll yeah. check it out. No, watch it. It, it, it. Because what happens is when you watch it, because if you, if you watch the Woody thing on HBO and then you watch the interview from 1992... You're suddenly going to go, what the hell is new about this? You know, what is there that hasn't already been said yeah. time and time again? Now, now, another thing I thought of is that if she did, if Mia did make it up, maybe this was as uh, revenge for, um, huh. because she couldn't get him legally for Sue Nee. Well, because, what happened was oh. she went over to his house, how this whole thing started. He went over to her, his apartment. Okay, because yeah. they lived across the park from each other. Okay. Yeah. They, uh, they, ne they never yes. lived in the same place together. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and they were never married, but they were a couple and they adopted Dylan. Okay. And then she had Ronan by Woody. You know, Ronan with the <laughs> red <laughs> hair and the, the glasses yeah. and the big nose. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, he, um, uh, it, she came over to his place, and on a mantelpiece or someplace, I yeah, there were pictures. There were these naked pictures of Sun Yi. Now he, up to that point, she didn't know anything was going on with Sun Yi, but now she knew. Uh, and um, it was, uh, she, it, and so she took them. She took them um, with her and left. And it, she was just vilely mad. And from then on, uh, I think at one point, uh, according to Alan in the 60 Minutes interview, she said to him, you took my daughter away from me. Now I'm going to take yours away from you. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, and it was, it was interesting. She, she knew the difference between Playboy and Hustler. What do you mean? Because she said they weren't like Playboy, they were more risque, sort of like yeah, they're more like Hustler. She said. Yeah. I was like, oh, she knows the degrees in the, yeah. well, the adult it, magazines. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, look, there was a big difference between Hustler. Right, as we, there was a big difference between Hustler and Playboy, mm -hmm. because uh, um, uh, Playboy proved that you could sell a magazine by having uh, nude pictures and women naked, but interspersed with great literature. And Hustler proved you didn't need the literature. <laughs> well, hey, hey, Larry you, Flint you, you was wrote, one of wrote, my heroes. You wrote for them, so you huh? wrote great literature for Hustler, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and they, uh, it was very, it was a good gig. I yeah. mean, I, I used to do okay by that. You know, That's one of my heroes, Larry Flint. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, and and Larry is kind of I, I I always referred to Larry as what I call a reluctant hero. All right, <laughs> who did we lose? By the way, we lost somebody here. Who was it? Some or did we lose somebody? Huh. Well, yeah, we had nine at one point. Yeah, we had, we had um, Kevin. Kevin. Oh, Kevin. 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 We yeah. lost Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Um, hey, Kevin, if you're listening, come on, come back. What happened? Anyway, he might have had oh, something. I'm sorry, are we keeping you awake, John? <laughs> sorry, i <laughs> sleepy. Yeah, anyway. Uh, By the way, your lower molar, it's got a cavity in it. Oh, yeah, how do you know? <laughs> you had your mouth wide open a minute ago. I'm kidding. Oh, okay. well, mm -hmm. Let me kidding. see here. Uh, let me go to, Ke let's see if I can find Kevin. Oh, Kevin Stopper. Well, there we are. Here's Kevin Stopper, and I will just write, what happened to you? What? How many, how many episodes is this? What do you think? I think it's four like episodes. talked about most of it already. I know. They're going to touch yeah, it I don't know. Well, Holy that's, shit. Is it four? Yeah. Four episodes. Really? Yeah, that's kind of a, it's already <laughs> a known thing, so why are they they're teasing us with next time on this show? Like, it's yeah, already... A known quantity. It's well, like they 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 kept promoting it as a, you you thought you knew the whole story, yeah. but now, you know, and uh, I think we know the whole story. We've heard it for twenty for th almost thirty years. You got to realize the uh, the uh, Allen interview was nineteen years ago, and that was after the accusations by her. I mean, I was amazed when I found out it went back that far because I thought it was maybe like ten years or something like that. It's been 29 years. It was before the OJ story. Yeah. yeah absolutely. How many kids did uh had she adopted? She's like with Angela and well, Lee numbers, right? Yeah, about <laughs> well, she, over something like that. Is she collecting them like they were baseball cards? Yeah. No. Yeah. It's like no. you know. Uh, I can't deal with having one kid. I don't even want to have kids of my own. Why does she want so many? Uh, crazy. Uh, that's that's a certain craziness too. Yeah, you know, and and Woody really didn't want any of it, you know. But then yeah. she said, uh, uh, "Would you like me to adopt a child for both of us?" And so he, they, she, uh, she adopted Dylan, and then he became the father of Dylan. Okay, the appointed father of Dylan, and then she had Ronan, with some obviously rampant sperm from somebody else <laughs> why don't they ever do a dna test to make sure who who, who his father is and you know something you know woody could bring that up but he doesn't i think he's too yeah. much of a gentleman to do it because yeah, you know yeah. above anything else satchel which was his given name when he was born ronan uh uh is his son and he i don't think can let go of that fact he can be mad at him. He can be alienated from him. They can be separated. They can never talk again. But still, wow. I don't think he would want to do anything that would bring him harm in the eyes of the public. Yeah. So you think that he's his son, but not his father, Woody Allen? Uh, I think. He, well, I think he's his legal father. Yeah. But right. But he's not his. But, but he's, he's not, not his. his he's not his. his he, uh, Woody was not the sperm donor. No. Right. I, right. If if he is, I'm I'm really surprised. You know. According to the law, if your wife has a baby, mm -hmm. that's your baby. It's assumed by the law that that is your child. Yeah. Then again, they were not married. They were not married. Okay. So so you, is Ronan's transsexual, right? No, Ronan is no. not transsexual. He's homosexual. But he's transvestite, though. He, he, no. He dresses like a woman. No, 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 never. I've never heard that. I've never yeah. seen, I've seen him with, like, lipstick on and eye makeup on and shit. I've never seen him in a dress. But. No, that was Frank. <laughs> Frank? <laughs> maybe, maybe he might have did something. No, that's makeup for being on TV. No, yeah. no, i seen him with women's makeup uh, one time. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. on an interview. Yeah, he's looking at him. I go, no. he's wearing women's makeup. It like I I've, I've never it. I've never seen that, but you know, yeah. it could be. Well, let's, let, let's not it's forget like John's from where San Francisco, where tomb. the men are men and the boys are well. The men are men, and women try the best they can. That's right, as the old saying goes. 
But I mean, it's it's a, you know it, it 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 to have it come up at this point. You know, I I my heart goes out to Woody because I I think he's a very talented man. I mean, he <coughs> didn't think he was funny, Alan, but some of his his serious works were were exquisite as well. Okay, I'll um, go back and look. Yeah, they, they're saying he did like one a year for forty years. One yeah. Year. yeah, his output was wow. regular. Yeah, every wow, year. I didn't realize he was so popular. Yeah. Uh, and, well, his pictures never lost money. He brought wow. them. He brought didn't spend a lot of money on them. I'll have to uh, look them up and stuff like that. In fact, yeah. do, you know, do, you, do you know what the most money making picture was he ever made? No. Um, was it One Night in Paris? What was the name of that picture? The Paris picture. I'm writing these down. Yeah. Uh, every how about everything you ever wanted to know about sex? No, but no, the, but they, they were they were they made money. This one was a blockbuster. Really? Yeah. And it came late. It came. Paris? It came late in his life, which is what is also interesting. Hmm. You know, but he well, never was a Broadway. big. He never made big money. The pictures never made giant bucks, but they all. He brought them all in at a price that the movie companies would make money out of them. There was never a movie company that lost any money on and a Woody so Allen. So they would thing. hire him again. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and uh, he. Um, uh, but I mean, he's uh, on the other side of life now. You know, he's got a few years left, and he loves making movies. And I think it's a shame that we maybe will be robbed of his uh, of his abilities because he won't be able to get the funding to do pictures. And that's everything because the of the allegations. Because of the allegations, yeah. Shame on HBO. Shame on HBO. Well, I mean, it. it if I were sitting at HBO. And I saw what they had in this video, okay? Uh, as an executive at HBO, which I would never be because, you know, who am I to be the head of HBO? Uh, but I could probably do a pretty good job of it. The fact is that I would look at this and go, well, what do you have that hasn't been said before? Oh, we have Dylan. She's older now. She remembers it better. I went, no, oh, you know. Why? I, I, why? You know, yeah. to begin with, the, the, it, every, there's a lot of people who believe that she was programmed at the time by Mia, who then was trying to poison all the kids against Woody. <clears throat> and at age, and, and by the way, Ronan has said that when he was five, he saw this thing happen with the, there's some things happening between Dylan and and Woody. Yeah, your mind plays he a lot of games. He was two your years. Five. He was two years old when this was purported to happen. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, he can't. So he too has been programmed by Mia because you know at that age you can program kids to believe something happened to them that didn't, and that's yeah. what she did. You know, especially with a mother. It, you know, the, the kids maternally are just sucked in with the mother. That's oh yeah, that happens a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and she tried to poison them all against her, against him. Wow, um, you know, and um, you know, I mean, it, it, and, and his relationship with Sunyi, okay, he was with a younger woman. So, so a lot right. of guys have been with a younger woman, and uh, and all the other guys give him a high five for it. You know, uh, I mean, she was age of age. She was twenty one, okay, uh, but she was she was young. Uh, uh, but, huh? I mean, like, would you say that was probably Mia Farrow's motivation for coming up with all the stuff with Dylan? Because oh was, yeah, oh absolutely, yeah. absolutely. This is her revenge. Yeah, it's it's an absolute revenge. So you know, why so late? With they, they filmed this just recently, but why revenge so late? Still, I mean, what's that's why I don't understand. Yeah, I don't. <clears throat> right. Wow. Well, what's the going on now? Probably said, "Hey, let's go back and we, and we, you know, I think we got a story here. You got a bunch of, you know, family, you know, footage, you know, videos and stuff. Let's make a film out of it." Yeah. She probably said, "Yeah, let's do it." Yeah, okay. but but I mean, I would if I were HBO, I would say, "Okay, what have you got here that hasn't been around before?" You know, you're just rehashing the whole story over again. Only well, you don't have Woody Allen involved in it to make it really Alan V. Farrow. It's really Farrow V. Allen with a small Allen, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, so, I mean, it just, it's just, it, it's horrible. 
it's just terrible. It's terrible what they're doing to him. And, it, you know, I, I listen, if he were a child molester, I'd say, come forward with the proof and let's do something about it, you know? Let's nail the bastard. You can't let him do that. But you don't have to nail the bastard, you know? Um Let's go back to talking about toilet paper. Yeah, let's go back to uh, talking about toilet paper. I wonder, what, I wonder what I wonder what happened to I I wrote uh, I wrote um, uh, Kevin, and I said, "What happened to you?" Oh, he's writing back now. I think oh. he could, could be he has a he had a little problem <coughs> or something like that. Be uh, in your moment. On yeah. Google, they have a lot of pictures of uh, uh, Sinatra and Pharaoh in the middle, and then Woody Allen. <laughs> Three of them. <laughs> So isn't funny. one of these things isn't, isn't it like great what Photoshop will do? <laughs> yeah. No, not uh, Photoshop. No, no, they're just individual pictures. But oh, I see. If you look at pictures of Frank Sinatra in the forties, you can definitely see the resemblance. Oh yeah, yeah there's one picture. He's got his eye, eyebrow raised, and Pharaoh has that too, and you can see the mouth and nose and everything. Yeah, but he <laughs> has he has her lips. I think I was, mm. I was noticing some video of them and of her and then him and Ronan and uh, there is that element in there of of her not being uh, he's not writing anything he's just looking at it I guess um, you were you were paying it take close attention to Ronan's lips is that what you're saying yeah, yeah no but no, I was just looking and trying I mean yeah obviously some of them were, are, they, were they kissable I mean obviously she's he's going to look a little bit like Mia because right. you know yeah. he came out of her pussy, you know. If I could put, right. it, put it so came boldly, out her pussy, her yeah. labor. Uh, yeah, he probably touched it on the way out. Yeah. Know. <laughs> um, you know, it's just it, it, it's just part of. Oh, that's part. gross! That whole thought. <laughs> you know, you're going on. You know, we go on. To, uh, there's this new term they've come up with now: cancel culture. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and. Love that. Uh, I, I don't like the term because it's a term that only the right wingers are using, not the left wingers. Yeah, uh, like they do with everything, like political correctness. They well, we never I mean, said political correctness. They came up. With I that. I don't like the idea that you know Woody is is is, is being accused of something he was never charged with. In fact. The authorities did look at it and decided there was no reason to go after Woody. Only one attorney, a district attorney, decided maybe he could, would, and Mia said, please don't because we don't want to have to drag um, Dylan through this. Well, I think she maybe did that because it was a big lie and she just mm -hmm. didn't want it to come to light. But uh, they had a they had a, a very well known group of people who look into child molestation and child abuse. Who looked into this whole thing and came out and said, Woody Allen did not abuse his daughter, you know, and and they and a lot of the uh, authorities came out and said the same thing that we don't have any reason to believe this went on, and even one of them went as far as to say, we think that Dylan was programmed by the mother. So I mean, there, there's never been a situation where they have charged him with anything, and the fact that this is. 29 years long, old, you would have thought somebody somewhere would have said, okay, we're busting you for this. But they didn't. And uh, in the meantime, his career is over. It's finished. You know? I yeah. Mean, he's, in the interview with, Wood, with 20, mm -hmm. 60 Minutes, he said, well, if my, if my career is finished tomorrow, so be it. You know? Yeah. He, he wasn't looking upon it as something that he was worrying about. You know, just just Wait, because he said, that, he said that in '92, yeah, he's made a lot of movies. Yeah, he's yeah, he's made movies since. Well, then. apparently that didn't stop it. For a while, I think he had some trouble getting financing uh, and getting people to work with him. But then all of a sudden, uh, everybody began to think, "Hey, you know, this guy didn't do anything." Yes, uh, Alan. So I I don't follow him obviously because I don't know of any good movies he's made, but. Just because he hasn't been arrested or charged does not mean that he is not guilty. And I'm sure we all know that. But, um, you know, I, 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 I'm looking on the Internet here as we're talking, and I don't see anything incriminating. But, of course, I don't know much about the guy. I know mm -hmm. who he is, and I watched a couple of his yeah. movies, and I thought, oh, boy, this is supposed to be funny. 
So, well, I, I thought he was always very funny. But I, I didn't, you know, you, you don't need an arrest or an indictment or something like that to be guilty. You and, and, and you can't base your feeling about his guilt or innocence based on whether you found him funny or not. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And, you know, I, all, the only reason I'm standing up for him is that, you know, come on, come on, come out with the proof. Right. You know, I come out with right. the with the indictment. I mean, look, I, I assume Trump is innocent until they finally put his hand in cuffs and haul him off to jail. You know, which I'm hoping happens. Yeah, Tomorrow you, would be nice. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yesterday would be nice. Charlie, like, Charlie would like that. That would make Charlie's day. If yes, suddenly yeah. we, you saw Trump doing the perp walk, right? Oh, yeah, the perp walk. M MSNBC is literally fucking begging for him to be busted. You know what I mean? Uh, they just, oh, yeah. they, every single story, you know, they go over that same story. Oh, now, now the DA's got his tax returns, you know, and now he's got problems down here. You know, it's like, well, why don't you guys Trump's just not, shut up until they actually fucking do it, you know? Well, yeah, I know, and Trump's not president anymore. And, and so. if, they, if they find him culpable yeah. and they're going to charge him with anything, uh, let's not charge him, in, let's not think of him as guilty until he is, you yeah. know? Right. It's important I don't that know. we that we I think that I like thinking of him as guilty. Yeah, <laughs> no, I think yeah. I think that I, everybody everybody is allowed their day in court and we are we are we that's the that's the tent pole of our democracy is that we assume innocence before guilt. In other words, yeah. a person goes to court they have to be proven guilty. They don't even have to prove their so innocence. Do you, do you believe that Trump molested women illegally? Yeah. I, 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 okay, so I bet, I bet everybody. On the I show would. Let me put it this way. Does. No, uh, no. Yeah. Well, you're asking it in a, in a strange way. I mean, the fact is, oh. I would like to believe that he has, but I'm not okay. going to. I'm not going to accuse him of it until somebody <laughs> comes forward and it is proven. But everybody, most Democrats at least, and most other world leaders would say, "Yeah, he has." Well, He's what you think? What you, what you it. think personally, and what you think publicly are two entirely different things. Absolutely. I mean, this is this yeah, is well, this is a computer. Also, uh, well, women have have yeah, accused him of it, and he's literally yeah, admitted but, but, it. But but the presumption of yeah. innocence, the presumption of innocence. Yeah. Uh, is a thing we hold dear in this society, and and yeah. it's different from any other country because we're here. You have to, you don't have to prove a thing. You can just sit there while the other people accuse you of stuff, and then let the right. jury yeah. decide. Okay, uh, or you can present your side of the story, which most people do, but you don't have to prove your innocence. They have to prove your guilt. In other countries, you have to prove your innocence. Right, yeah. After they have accused you of your guilt, so it, you know it. That's the tent pole of our democracy. That's the thing that distinguishes us from almost any other country in the world, even those that are democratic. And so we have to hold true to that, you know. And uh, yes, you might think so and so is absolutely guilty, and uh, God, you know, it's good. But you have to assume and presume innocence. Uh, I don't have to. Uh -huh. Well, you say you don't have to, but as a good American, you should. You know. Well, well yeah, the court I, of public I, I, opinion I, and the court of law are two different things. Yeah, that's right. right. Exactly. I, exactly. That's I right. Mean, I, 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 I grant. Yeah, sure, he's innocent because he hasn't been convicted. But in my, in my opinion, he's guilty. But that doesn't mean anything, you know. I mean, I'll change this, John. I'm kind of 50 what? 50 on it myself. It doesn't mean I'll, anything I'll, to him. I'll change what you just said, John. You said that he's innocent because he hasn't been proven guilty. Right. He, I'll change that to he may be innocent because he hasn't been charged. Right. Charged yeah. and proven are two different things. So, right. Yeah. But that's okay. I, I, I got your point, John. It, it, yeah. it was a valid point. It just, but to me, to me, in my mind, he, was a little. In twisted. my opinion, he's guilty, which means nothing, really. No, I, I agree well, with you. Well, no, if in you I know, agree with you, but that's you can hold you know anything privately you want to. I mean, there are a lot of things where you feel this is publicly they're yeah. they're guilty. You know, like I've often said that privately, I can think O.J. murdered his wife. All right, yeah. but publicly, I can't because publicly he was found not guilty in a court of law. And so yeah. I have to presume his innocence, 
you know. Um, uh, Yes, I do. I don't have to in my personal life. I don't want to hang out out with O.J. Simpson because I'm afraid he's going to kill me. I won't hang (laughs) out with him, you know. But but I have to presume his innocence because he was found not guilty. Period. Hmm? It's it's like an ideal. It's not what you really believe, but it's like an ideal that we strive. Okay. Well, here's a situation. Presume his innocence, even if we can't. How how about those two guys that murdered um, the black kid? You know what was his name? Uh, Herbert Till or Emmett Till? Emmett Till. Mm -hmm. They murdered them, and then they were tried and found not guilty. But it was obvious they were guilty. Well, and then about six months later, they do an interview with Life Magazine and admitted they did it. I mean, well, uh, then you have the uh, look. Then you have the right, absolutely, to say, okay, they did it. They admitted they did it. And treat them as though they did it. Yeah. But you can't deprive them of their liberty because they were found not guilty in a court of law. Yeah. All right. No, no, no double jeopardy. Yeah. 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 Oh, uh, oh, what happened to, uh, let me see here. I want to find out what happened to Kevin. Uh, yeah, oh, don't take uh, a dump. I had to answer a call and didn't want to be rude. Uh, I wasn't too interested was in the Woody deal wrong. anyway. So just coming back to listen for a bit to see if the subject changes, but it's late in the show now i'll call tomorrow if we can get some others to talk about other subjects we will actually we oh, have, he's tired he's tired of woody allen well too, i huh? i agree i wouldn't do this two nights in a row kind of missing the he older did. days of the political debating etc we had yeah, you know? we were talking about it last but it's night. all good no worries my friend okay good thank good. you i love well, last, I love last night i was listening and nobody had uh nobody had watched it so and i had watched it right but I, was, I tuned in yesterday, but it was so boring because I wasn't on. So yeah, yeah. No, but tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, would, uh, uh, Kevin, if you're if you're listening, uh, tomorrow we'll uh, we'll we'll maybe we'll get into politics. Paper. Well, yes. you know, um, I, I I just what I'd like to do, what I wanted to do, is change this topics on a lot of in a lot of ways okay. because. Um, you know, we went through so much. How many years of Trump, 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 yeah. Trump, Trump, Trump? Yeah, Trump. he's been that, living that right now. I'm just, I'm just oh. taking a bit of a breather, as it were. You know, um, why don't you interview people on the show like you're good at? Well, I do it. We do that with our For comedy 15, friends. Minutes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, if you're listening, Kevin, uh, we love you, and we want you back here mm-hmm. tomorrow night. Um, Jeff? Yes. How you feeling? You feeling okay? No, I'm feeling good. <laughs> yeah, when did you get your second shot again? Uh, on, let's see, Wednesday. Wednesday, yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, boy. Okay. Everybody's yeah. getting theirs before me. I just... I wonder why. Now, and then I get a note from the city saying, bad you, you didn't get yours on time. I think he got in the front of the line and said... I want my appointment on time. By the way, I am Alex Bennett. And somebody said, oh, move him to five and a half weeks. Yeah. By the way, by the way, Jeff, was there a line where you went or was it just in and out? I actually became, I was there early. Okay. And so I walked right in Mm -hmm. and the girl says, I think you're, you're here like over early. And I said, yes. And I said, is that a problem? She goes, no, just going to move you ahead and you're, you're the next guy. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. They were perfect. It was so nice. Where where did you do this again? In um, North Haven, Connecticut, Mm -hmm. which was part of Yale. Yeah. They own that facility. And it was just terrific. Yeah. Okay. Did you? Now, uh, did the people who, Gave you the shot? Was it a doctor or a nurse or what? I think it was um, somebody who works at Staples. <laughs> uh, you know, I never asked. I had a doctor. Actually, what you can do, our governor <clears throat> is uh, has the ability to give shots. Uh, at least that's what he's telling the women on this group uh, but <laughs> he uh give shots he he got uh, he took a course it's a 20 minute course on how to give an in, 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 in vaccination right and wow. and uh i guess i could 
go take that same course and then go down to one of these places and get paid to stick needles in people's arms. But every mm -hmm. time I do it, I go. I know. <laughs> I couldn't do that. Could you, could you give people shots for that thing? I couldn't do that. I'll tell you, you know who could? Who could? It's Marjorie. Because she had to take classes on how to give herself a shot because she has, an, has allergies. So they gave her some stuff for the allergies, and she sticks it in her butt, and she gives herself shots all the time. So she's only one step away from her butt to somebody's arm. <laughs> you know. Um, so. I've actually given people shots. So. I see people giving oh, them really? shots every day on the street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah really. <laughs> That's for fun. Good point, John. I, I think it, point. I think I think it's terrific. I think uh, you know. I mean, it, it's nice that they've got a lot of people who are doing this, and now we've got the Johnson and Johnson, and the Pfizer, uh, the uh, uh, AstraZeneca is is next in line. Still, um, well. Hmm? AstraZeneca has been approved. Johnson & Johnson has not been approved yet. Yeah. They're talking about doing it tomorrow being Friday. Astra AstraZeneca hasn't been approved yet, has it? Sure, it's being used all around the world. It's not. We're not using it here, right. but it was approved. It was the first one approved. Yeah, yeah. I went to Kaiser today to pick up some, some medication, and they had a long line there, but they I couldn't get an appointment with them when I got my first shot, and... The the Levi Stadium was much younger crowd, where over at the over at Kaiser is very much an older crowd, mm -hmm. and there was a long line and it went slow, but uh, sort of felt bad that that they were having to go to Kaiser and they should have been you know going to Levi and they had a they could get an appointment like two days after they make the appointment they had to wait probably a couple of weeks there. So. Wow, wow! But you got to be over sixty five to get a shot. Yeah. Go yes. Or or dress yes, or in Florida, Florida, all you have to do is dress like you're 65. <laughs> no, no you younger people don't. Oh, by the way, by the way, somebody asked uh, me. I think it was Phil the other day. Why uh, New York has a worse situation or a large more people infected or whatever uh, than uh, than uh, Florida? And it's because, like yesterday, we did 275,000 tests. Because we do massive amounts of testing, so we get a higher number because it, it better than it, we, Florida. You're never going to find out what the true number is. No. Okay. Yeah, they're faking it. It, it. Even the deaths are probably being faked on some some level. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I just looked. You know what it's time to do? There we go. Oh. There's the thing. <laughs> and hey, okay. the computer held up tonight too. That's great. You know. Yeah. Boy, yeah. it just went. It went. South. Well, the guy you were interviewing beforehand, he needs to get something different to yeah. get on the show. What? Stephen what Pearl. Was his name? Uh, Stephen Pearl. Oh, Stephen Pearl. Pearl. Yeah, it Stephen is. Stephen Pearl. It. Boy, it was so hard to hear him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're trying to get his computer back and working again. Let's do a GoFundMe. Yeah, do it. I was, I was just thinking, let's all throw five dollars in towards a new computer. Let's do a telephone for these people. Just well, well, you know, a little one of those little PCs. You know, those uh, yeah. uh, can't be that expensive. Chromebook, two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Him and him and Bubs. Yeah, him and Bubs. Oh, Bubs. When Bubs, Bubs does it, the hell will have frozen over. Hey, thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. thank you, Alan. Good having you here. Charlie, always good. Trucker Steve, hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Uh, uh, John Larkin, a big thank you to you and a big thanks to uh, Brian as well. All of you, give a big uh, wave goodbye and I'll give you a big wave goodbye back. There we go. There goes our citizen panel. Uh, they go off into the night. Uh, some of them maybe will even go over with and to see Jack next over most of the same gab net. Uh, he's going to be doing his show, The Intersection, on Skype. You call GabNet Live. Uh, I will be back again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And please, be safe out there and wear a damn mask. Good night.